Okay, so good afternoon, uh, everyone. So today I'm going to discuss about how are you going to determine the skewness. As what I have mentioned from my previous lesson, it's uh, in order to solve for the skewness, the formula is equal to uh, SK, three times the quantity of mean minus median divided by the standard deviation. So first of all, you have to solve for the mean and the median as well as you have to get the standard deviation. So I have here an example. For 108 randomly selected high school students, the following IQ frequency distribution were obtained. Find the coefficient of skewness of the distribution. So I have here uh, the table Okay, so in the first column, we have the class limits and the second column is the frequency. So uh, from uh, our previous lesson, wherein you will, uh, you constructed the frequency distribution table, we started from the lowest going to the highest, but now we started from the highest going to the lowest. Okay, now, have you noticed that the number here is 90 minus 98? 99 to 107, 108 to 116, 117 to 125, 126 to 134 is the class limit. So in order to determine the class width or the class interval, how are you going to determine that? So you start counting from 90. So 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. So therefore, the class we there is 9. Okay, so take note of that class. Now for the second column is also, this is the given. And the frequency is 6, 22, 43, 28, and 9. And the, the total of uh, the frequency is equal to 108. So since this is a given, what are you going to do is in order, to uh, determine the mean, the median. So we have to prepare for the third column. And the third column there is what do you call the X. X stands for the class mark. How are you going to get the value of the X? So here, 90 plus 98 divided by 2 will give you 94. 99 plus 107 divided by 2 is equal to 103. 108 plus 116 divided by 2 is equal to 112. 117 plus 125 divided by 2 is equal to 121. And 126 plus 134 divided by 2 will give you 130. So take note, class, that X is what do you call the class mark. F is the frequency. So after getting the class mark, you will, for the fourth column, you will get the product of the frequency and the class mark. So all you have to do is to multiply 6 times 94 is equal to 564, 22 times 103 will give you 2,266, 43 times 112 will give you 4,816, 28 times 121 will give you 3,388, 9 times 130 will give you 1,170. So after that class, you have to get the uh, summation of fx. So if you are going to add all of this, 564 plus 2,266 plus 4,816 plus 3,388 plus 1,170. So uh, all, all you have to do is to add all of this in the calculator. So if you will add all of this, the answer is equal to 12,204. So that is the value of summation of fx. But before that, we have to get the value, which is the fifth column. Cf stands for the cumulative frequency. In getting the cumulative frequency or in determining the cumulative frequency, you can start from the bottom going to the top or from the top going to the down. But like, for example, if you want to start from the bottom, uh, whatever is the value of your n, that will be your first, um, uh, first number, okay? So since our n is 108, so we have to write 108, and we need to subtract. 
So take note that if you will start from the bottom, the, you, the operation that you are going to use is subtraction. So take note, class, that 108 minus the frequency, which is 9, will give you 99. And then after that, 99 minus the frequency in a 28 is equal to 71. 71 minus 43 will give you 28. 28 minus 22 will give you 6. So the last number will be equal to the frequency of the lowest number. Okay? So since the frequency of the lowest number, which is from 90 to 98, is 6, then your CF is 6 also. But how about if you will start from the top? You can start it, but whatever is the value of your F, which in which is in the lowest score, then you have to write it. But you have to use uh, addition. Okay, again. So 6 plus 22 is equal to 28. 28 plus 43 is equal to 71. 71 plus 28 will give you 99. 99 plus 9 will give you 108. Okay, so class, whatever is the value of your N, that will be your last number. So if you will start from the top going down, the last number will be equal to your N. So after that, you have to determine what is the median here. So as you have noticed, if you are going to determine based from the class limit, from 108 to 116 is our median. So meaning to say you need to highlight it. So like, for example, if I will be giving you a quiz, you highlight at the, the, the middle or the median. So from 108 going to 71, you need to highlight it. And then after that, you are going to get or to determine the value of your mean. So since we have already our summation of fx, so the formula is mean is equal to summation of fx divided by n, where our summation of fx is 12,204 divided by 108 is equal to 113. So take note, class, that the mean is equal to 113. Okay. Next is, how are we going to determine the median? Take note that this is not the ungrouped data. See, uh, I have already discussed before that in order to get the median of the ungrouped data, all you have to do is to add if there are two median, you have to add the two numbers, divide it by two. If it's only one number, then that is the median. But this is a group data. So take note, class, that the formula of the median is equal to the quantity of n. So our n is equal to 108 divided by 2. But how about that uh, minus CF? What is CF? So you go back to the table. This is the cumulative frequency after the, the median. And then F is the frequency or the most frequent score. And then W is the uh, class width or the class interval, and the LMD, this is the lower limit of the median. So take note because we will be able to determine there from our table. So let's go back to our table. So let us proceed or let us determine what is our cumulative frequency or CF. So balik tayo dito sa ating table. So since the median here is 108 to 71, you have to highlight it. And then... The uh, question is the cumulative frequency of or uh, the after the median. Okay. Pag naging, uh, nag-start tayo sa smallest to uh, highest, pwede yan before. But now, dito tayo nag-start from highest, kaya after siya. So therefore, ang ating cumulative frequency of our median is 71. After that, that is 28. So that will be your CF. Okay. How about the F, which is the frequency? So, ano po yung frequency ng media natin or the most frequent score? So, that is equal to 43. Mas maraming uh, estudyante ang nakakuha ng score between 108 to 116. Okay? And also, we know already that our class width is 9, right? So, from 90 to 98, you have to count it. Start from 90. Do not start from 91. So you start from 90, okay? And then the LMD, which is the lower limit of the median. So take note, class, that the numbers here at the left 
outside 90, 99, 108, 117, 126 are the lower limit. 98, 107, 116, 125, 134 is what do you call the upper limit. So LMD is the lower limit of the median. In order to determine the lower limit, we have to subtract it by 0.5. So, 108, kasi ito yung median natin, 108 minus 0.5, that is equal to 107.5. Okay, so that will be your LMD. Now, we have already our given, so go back to our formula. So, take note class that N divided by 2, 108 divided by 2 will give you 54. Minus the cumulative frequency after the um, the median, it's 28, divided by the frequency or the most frequent score that is 43, the class width that is equal to 9, plus the lower limit of the median, which is 107.5. Okay, class. So, you have to do this operation. 54 minus 28 divided by 43. So if you're going to do that in your calculator, we'll give you what number. And then multiply it by 9. Whatever is the result, you have to add it by 107.5. Again, 54 minus 28. Whatever is the result, divide it by 43. And then whatever is the quotient, multiply it by 9. Whatever is the product, you have to add it by 107.5 and the final answer is equal to 112.94. Okay, so this 112.94, uh, round it off to two decimal places. So you have already your mean, you have already your median. Then what are we going to do next? We have to get the standard deviation. In order to get the standard deviation, we have to get the value of the variance. So we don't have, uh, we have a formula, right? So for, from the first table, after uh, constructing the first table, and that is the value of the mean and the median. So let us continue, class, on the next um, video, okay? So it's okay, let us uh, proceed. So we still have more time. So take note that when you are going to get the value of the, the standard deviation, Okay, so here, so you have to create another uh, table. Okay, so here, from our previous example, the first column is the class limit, the frequency is 6, the, cla the class mark is 94. So for the fourth column, in getting the variance, all we have to do is to get the value of the x minus mean. We X stands for 94. Ang mean natin, diba, 113. So, 94 minus 113 will give you nine, negative 19. 103 minus 113 will give you negative 10. 112 minus 113 will give you negative 1. 121 minus 113 will give you 8. 130 minus uh, 113 will give you 17. After this, you have to square. So, multiply uh, the, two, the, by, the number by... Um, by itself twice so negative 19 times negative 19 will give you 361 negative 10 times negative 10 will give you 100 negative 1 times negative 1 will give you positive 1 8 times 8 will give you 64 17 times 17 will give you 289 and the last column it's the uh, whatever is the result here in X minus mean, multiply it by the frequency. So take note, class. 361 times 6 will give you 2,166. 100 times 22 will give you 2,200. 1 times 43 will give you 43. 64 times 28 will give you 1,792. 289 times 9 will give you 2,601. The, the last process is you have to get the summation of x minus mean squared times f. So all you have to do is go to our pressure calculator, 2,166 plus 2,200 plus 43 
plus 1,792 plus 2,601 will give you with the answer 8,802. And N minus 1. And val the value of our N is 108 minus 1 will give you 107. So therefore, the variance is, so divide the two numbers, 82.26. Since we're looking for the S, whatever is the result of your variance, get the square root in your calculator. Then, therefore, the square root of 82.86 is 9.07. So, complete na po yung ating given. We have our mean, we have our median, we have our standard deviation. So, we can the, uh, substitute the given in our formula. So, take note, our uh, given are here. And then substituting 3 times the mean, which is 113 minus 112.94 divided by 9.07. So take note, class, that we have to do the operation inside the parentheses. 113 minus 112.94, whatever is the difference, multiply it by 3 divided by, by 9.07, then our skewness is 0 0.02. After this, you go back to your interpretation. Di po ba? Uh, I have discussed that if your SK or the skewness is 0, then the, the distribution is symmetrical. If it is positive, it is positively skewed. If it is negative, that is negatively skewed. So since the answer is 0 0.02, then therefore the distribution is positively skewed. So that's it. So this is our uh, lesson for the skewness. I hope you learn from this lesson. Have a great day, everyone, my dear students. Thank you.